Hello my friends and today we're gonna take a look at this meat lead circular or round puck looking like a LED light. So what it is? This is a um, uh, under cabinet light I think or anywhere else but it has to be mounted something like this it is 150 lumen 2.2 watt watts and color temperature is 2700 kelvin it is gray in color it is still sealed and let's take a look what the heck is this it is not expensive i think it's like 6.99 in ikea um it's not expensive but it's not including the the cable to connect it to mains and it also does not include a power supply so it has only this light and the piece of wire so let's take a look what exactly does it contain for you to understand what else do you need to buy in order to build your light uh, in your kitchen or with when anywhere you want so packaging is pretty basic and this is all what comes with it so you have those I guess those are like um, wire guides or something. Let me see. Those two are some sticky. Yeah, this is probably to guiding a wire in some specific places. And it's gonna go like this. Wire gonna go like that. You're gonna peel this out, stick to your, you know, wall or under the cabinet, and that's pretty much it. Here's some extensive user manual which we're not gonna read, obviously, because we never read manuals. And there is more stuff. This is probably some warnings and stuff. Attention! Warning. Of course, we're not gonna give a shit about that too. And here we are. So this is the unit itself. Let's remove this box of the frame. Go away. That's the unit itself. So it has a connector so it's not like other meat led leds which they do not come with this wire to connect to power supply they these guys have the connector but it's completely soldered or connected to this uh puck so i don't remove so here is probably we're gonna have some mounting hardware that's gonna be some screws oh nice we have torques a little torque a driver the bit i mean not the driver crvt 10 nice nice so this is probably for over here so those two screws gonna go into your wall or in a cabinet and it's gonna connect securely this unit that's pretty cool i think i have already many of them but torx i like torx so how do you detach it i think it's very easily detachable look at this fancy schmancy like this and then when you screw this you can just like pop it in the very any orientation you want but keep in mind curious if wire can be no so i don't think there is enough space to actually wrap the wire the way you want it or maybe it will work let me try just for giggles no it's not cooperating because this spring is actually pressing against the wire so you have to cap it only this way like this so the fixture is going to be screwed in and this can be removed which is actually pretty cool so but uh, that's pretty much it this is led itself this is the fixture but let's take a look what's inside okay we remove this and i think this is not gonna give us any kind of clue what's inside because oh wow is it glued or sealed shut shit that's okay I think one we can sacrifice for nice aha here we are it was actually quite easy to disassemble a little bit of broken plastic no biggie no biggie okay now I see how it's all organized so they have this reflector piece of glass and a whole bunch of LEDs actually on the perimeter and I don't think any other active components except few resistors for current limiting I assume and uh, like like one two three diodes that's pretty much it I'm not sure if I can pull this out I'll try let me find a more appropriate screwdriver uh, unless it's glued no it's not nice Look at this very interesting pattern on this piece of glass. Very interesting. So this is probably reflective backing. And here is the um, bunch of LEDs. And it, 
For our convenience, it's uh, already this already numbered, and this LED is number 28. So it has 28 um, uh, white LEDs. Uh, there are a few one, two, three, four, only four resistors and three diodes. Very, very interesting. So this is the one, I think, can I take this reflector out? Yes, this reflector plastic thing can go out. And here we are, we have access to the LED strip over here, and we have access to the LED connector. So if you want to shorten this wire, because it's ridiculously long, probably, I think it's about three meters or something, uh, we can actually cut it to the size we need and resolder it right here, because, I, I mean, dealing with this, piece of wires, piece of wires is actually quite ridiculous. But I think I like this orientation of those LEDs. Does it say 24 volt, 2.2 watts? We can calculate the current which actually passes, or we can measure it, which actually passes through all these jaws. We can measure it with my power supply, I can connect 24 volts, probably even straight here without any like shenanigans and uh, power supplies, we can take a look uh, how much this thing consume and obviously having knowing the number of LEDs we can calculate um, uh, how many, uh, actually measure the voltage drop on each LED, we can calculate how many LEDs in this um, cob light because I don't believe this is single LED, I think it's like a multiple and also I do not um, actually if it's 24 volt, 28 LEDs, no, no, that's, they not all in series, they probably has to be in parallel, and there, is a, there, is, there should be multiple LEDs in, inside it. So we're gonna measure all this. All right, let's take our multimeter and measure some um, LEDs. So I assume this is negative, this is positive, so we will try to measure our LEDs like this. It's no opposite just to understand how they all connected. Here we are, so this LED has the, hello, hello 2.5 volt drop. Um, judging by amount of resistors, one, two, three and four over here, right? And we have 28 LEDs, four resistors. I assume that we have a configuration of four strings of LEDs, seven LEDs in each. So um, this sort of plays nicely with, the, so those resistors are current limiting resistors and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs in one string. One, two, three, four, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In another string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you see, this is actually nicely uh, organized in um, in strings of seven. So I think we more or less figure out the topology of this layout. So this is four by seven a LED configuration, and let's just connect it to the power supply. I think this is a positive this is negative uh, uh, because it, it, it's nothing there is no information right here so you can j and figure this out so let's connect it to our 24 volt power supply here is a probes for the power supply i'm using probes here and to see what is the current uh, where the, the current is going to be consumed going to be running through this uh, led circuit okay did i set it to 24 volt and our current limit would be 100 milliamp for now. Let's see. Pew! It's very hard to see. Let me move this power supply towards me. Okay, so we have 24 volt. We guessed properly the polarity. So, oops. At 24 volt, it can, the current is 73 milliamp 24 volt 72 73 milliamp it is pretty bright little puck yeah it's not the best contact sorry i'm blinking 24 volt 73 i just uh calculated 24 volt 73 milliamp is actually 1.7 watts so i'm not sure where um they took 
2.2 watts. Um, so this is something I have to think about it because I mean this is 500 almost 500 a milliwatt less than it's supposed to be so I'm gonna make an assumption that that you know, light output gonna be less than that so because I do have 24 volt a uh, 73 milliamp clearly specified on this uh, power supply so I'm not sure what's going on uh, in here it's a little bit less power than I expected so but here we are let's try to put this all together so this goes back in here this little light pack I think it goes this way goes back in here diffuser here's the diffuser goes back in here let's try to power it up um, you know what it doesn't matter I'm gonna assemble it I wanted to power it up with this thing but I'm gonna assemble everything and power it up properly through the proper power supply and obviously a polarity gonna be observed by the proper connection here let me do that quickly so guys I assembled everything together but before I've done uh, assembled everything I also buzzed a uh, wires actually in marked positive and negative on this uh, connector just to know in case you want to just modify something just to know where where is the how polarity goes so so this is uh, um, already marked so now I can you know try to shrink this cable and at least they're gonna know the polarity so, okay, dokey, so we have our Ansluta, I think this is how it's called, always forget the stupid name, uh, power supply. Uh, and um, let's just connect it. This is quite beefy, this is 24 volt 3 amps, so that's, that's enough power and see what's gonna happen. Ta-da! This is, oh, it's actually way less bright when it is through diffuser. It's not as crazy bright because through the um, when I was staring straight on the on the on the on the LEDs, it was like crazy uh, crazy bright. Now through the diffuser, it's like looking quite actually uh, um, it, like the light is spread across pro evenly and not as uh, there is not too much of a highlight. So this is actually looking pretty pretty cool. So this is what we have. So this is powering through this Ansluta power supply, and I can connect multiple devices here. And it has this Ansluta power supply comes with this switch. Well, you you buy this separately because this thing. Sorry, my my bad. This is it doesn't come with anything. It just comes with this block and this wire. That's pretty much it. This you have to buy separately, unfortunately. You can MacGyver something, but better to buy um, like out of the box wire. It's still pretty long, by the way. So here we are. This is a quick look and tear, quick tear down of this Midlet a light pack. Not sure if it has any specific name, but this is how the box looks like. It's a square box for this uh, light pack. And the product number is 304-536-55. Made, of course, in China. So I hope that was useful and if you want to use it for some other purposes, I'm pretty sure you can. Like for example, if you have some other power supply, which is 24 volt, for example, if you have 3D printer, yes, you can use it for a, your print bed light or if you want to use it for, uh, in, I'm not sure if it's going to work properly in a car because 12 volt may be too low to actually for those LEDs. I can test it for giggles, but I think it's going to be too low, so it's going to be useless. You kind of sort of have to reconfigure that uh, LED uh, strings, those LED strings, and uh, mm, yeah, this is I think it's actually pretty decent light and that 150 uh, uh, lumens. That's not too bad for some in cabinet or uh, under cabinet uh, lighting. So I think it was uh, it was actually quite useful video for me. At least I understand how this thing works. I hope it was useful for you. If you're gonna see more videos, please like um, uh, and subscribe to, to allow the channel grow. I'll be happy to hear from you and see you next time. Ciao.